Asleep? He's finally asleep. Good, good. Hey, did you wrap his present already? Uh, I did. Oh, he's gonna be so excited when he opens it. Oh my god, I know, I know. He's gonna have a heck of a Christmas. Seriously. I'm just really, really glad we got to spend time with your mom today. He loves spending time with grandma. I know, it's it's really cute to see. She just adores him. You know, when we first started dating and we were getting kind of serious. She told me how excited she was to be a grandma. <laughs> it just gives her a reason to spoil him. Oh my god, totally. <laughs> hey, by the way, did you get the mail already? Yeah, I did. It's over by the table. Look at that. Valentine's Day sale ads are out already. <laughs> that does not surprise me. Let's see. Hey, we got a card from your Uncle Ben. Is he still out of work? Yeah, unfortunately when the rice mill closed, a lot of people got laid off. It's been a rough couple of years for him. Let's see, Bill, Bill, Blue Mango Casino. Sweater sale. Okay. Hey, your movie 2025 Blood, White, and Blue came in. I think your Uncle Josh is really gonna like that. And what's this? Why do they keep doing this? What's that? They keep sending us Old Man Jackson's mail. I swear they do this like once a week. What is that, a bill? No. Uh, <laughs> apparently Old Man Jackson has a personal issue. A what? A personal issue. Like down there? It's a shipment of little blue pills. <laughs> oh, you mean... Boner pills. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna walk them over to his house? I don't think so. That'd be a little embarrassing, don't you think? Like, hey, Mr. Jackson, I got your pee pee pills. <laughs> no, he's just gonna have to wait till his next shipment. Hmm. Well, I think I'm gonna be going to bed soon. Got an early morning, lots of presents to open, family is coming over, so you need to start cooking early. I think I'm gonna make some tea. Do you want some? I'm okay. Thank you, though. Hey, you know what? I think I am gonna run this over to his house. I'll be right back.
So, what's the plan, Steve? We wait for them to go to sleep. And then, go inside. Who is this guy? Hmm. I sold him a real expensive ring at the store this week. One of a kind, Jerry. $40,000. You get that? You sell it. Hmm. And all of our troubles, gone. So, what's this guy do? I don't know. Who cares? We get in, we get out. Easy money. Easy peasy. What if this guy is a judo guy, Steve? I, I seen this movie where this guy was a judo guy. And he was kicking and chopping people. I can't fight no judo guy, Steve. He ain't no judo guy. He does something like, like with pencils or something. I don't know. Just calm down, man. I don't know, Steve. If this guy starts getting all judo on me, I'm gonna freak out. You are not gonna freak out. Now shut up. Which house is it? It's that one, right there. I think that's him. Oh, I'm gonna stuff your stocking tonight. Santa Claus is coming to town. That was fast. Yeah. I mean, I figured, you know, since he's not home, he's probably not going to miss it. And, you know, with little Timmy asleep, I figure it's time for Daddy to bring home the North Pole. So. <laughs> you did it. Oh, I did. And <laughs> you have about 20 minutes before I put you on Santa's naughty list, so. <laughs> Is that right? Oh, that's right. You like working at the jewelry store, Steve? Yeah, it's all right. I get in, make a few sales, make a little money. Sure beats betting on the horses. So, why are we robbing this guy? Because we owe Vinny money. Like, if money was a dick, we owe a warehouse full of dicks. Vinny Trino be breaking our legs if we don't pay him back. And nobody's gonna have a good Christmas. Know what I mean, Jerry? I know what you mean, Steve. So what are you doing? What do you mean? For work. What are you doing? I am an exterminator. I kill bugs. <laughs> How the hell are you an exterminator? You're scared of spiders. I hate spiders. But you know what bugs can't do? What's that? Judo, Steve. Bugs can't do judo. I ain't never seen a bug do judo. What the hell are you talking about?
What's your favorite Christmas memory? Um. Oh. Uh, so, every Christmas Eve, as soon as we would all fall asleep, my dad would drive up to the mountains and he would just fill the back of his truck with snow. I mean, to the brim. And the next morning, we all had snowball fights and snowmen and the whole thing. And I don't know, I guess, I guess when you're five, you don't realize that your lawn is the only lawn with snow in it. I don't know, it's, it's just kind of magical, you know? Mm -hmm. What about you? Well, when I was a kid, my mom would make the best cup of hot chocolate on Christmas Eve. It was, it was her thing. She'd make sure all her girls were in her pajamas. We'd have a fire going, we'd watch a movie. It was always coming home with Ernie Vecito. I swear she had a crush on him. And then she'd bring us this big cup of hot cocoa. With a candy cane, and marshmallows on top. It was it was the best. Okay, is it, is it working yet? Not yet. I think they're asleep. Let's go. I don't know, Steve. How are we gonna get in this place? We're just gonna go around the back. See that room up there? That's the bedroom. We'll just go around the back. They'll never hear us. You sure about this? Look, you idiot. Shut up and follow me. I got this. hungry, Steve. I haven't eaten anything all day. What? You want to stop and get something to eat? That sure would be nice. We're not stopping and getting food. We're here. We're going to rob this house. We're going to get the diamond and leave. You hear me? Don't flake on me, Jerry. I swear to God, if you mess this up, Vinny is going to kill you. I won't mess it up, Steve. What was that? I just stepped in some poop. Well, scrape it off. I'm coming, I'm coming. Now be quiet. This is the door we're gonna be going in. Jerry. Don't move. What? Don't move. Why? There's a spider. Steve, get it off me. Don't move. Oh. Ow. I think 
Mike, you bit me. Shut up. You're gonna be fine. Now get over here. <sighs> Amateurs. <sighs> Insurance. Did you hear something? Yeah. What was that? Shh. Oh, oh we have liftoff. Uh. We have liftoff. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> Hey, Steve, I'm a little worried. Do you think that spider was poisonous? No. You're gonna be fine. There's someone already there. It's probably just him putting presents underneath the tree. Okay, mister, don't move. Yeah, we don't want to hurt you. Ho, 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 you got it all wrong. Shut up, fat man. We're just here for one thing and then we're out of here. Yeah, just one thing. And don't try any judo moves on us. Ho, ho, ho. Judo moves? You must be silly. I'm here spreading Christmas cheer and delivering presents to all the good girls and boys around the world. Look, dude, you can pretend to be Santa Claus all you want. He ain't real. We're just here for one thing, the diamond ring. Got it? So where is it? Not real. I'm very real. What are you talking about, old man? You ain't Santa. You're little Jerry McCockley, right? And you, you're little Stevie Bishop. How the hell did you know that? Oh, if I remember correctly, when you were five years old, you wanted a puppy named Herman. But your dad said no. How did he you know that? And, and you, little Jerry, when you were seven years old, your mother brought you to the mall to see me. And you told me you wanted a Stretch Armstrong. Yeah, I did, but you never brought it. Never brought it because you made the naughty list before Christmas, when you lit your neighbor's house on fire. Oh, that. Yeah, well. Yeah, well, I never got that puppy, and, and, and that really messed me up. Sin ain't real, and so just shut up and sit down. Just hand over the diamond. I think that is Sin. I think that spider bite has gotten to your brain. What are you, an idiot? It's not Santa, it's just some fat guy that decided to rob the place before us. Look, fat man, don't make me shoot you. Where's the diamond? I don't know. But they did leave some really good cookies over there. Cookies? Jerry, 
leave the cookies alone. But I haven't eaten, and I'm not feeling so good. Oh, he doesn't look good. Jerry, 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 stay with us here, okay? Look here, you Santa Claus, just fork over the diamond, and, and, and we're out of here. Steve, the one great thing about being Santa Claus is that I can make dreams come true. That's what I do. On Christmas Eve, my reindeer and I travel around the world delivering toys to all the good boys and girls. And if I recall, you asked for a few things. One of them was a Deputy Dan BB gun, like this one. Oh, oh, oh. I seem to have shot your eye out. And Jerry, I recall that you asked for a Louisville Slugger baseball bat. Like this one. Oh, wait. Did you hear something? Oh, I guess not. <laughs> and we can't forget your lump of coal. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Oh, it was your idea. Oh. Oh. Well, Officer Jenkins, when we looked at the security camera, it looked like these two guys were trying to rob the house. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, who is that bad guy fighting with these jabronis, huh? Um... Santa Claus. Santa Claus? You're telling me that Santa Claus was fighting with these burglars? Is that the story you're sticking with, Mr. and Mrs. Nobody? Um, yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't really hear this sort of story every day. One time. Okay. All right. Ready? Okay.